Hi guys, hope you're well. So for this tutorial, I'm using the Fusion Leanne Courtney Fancy Eyes Split Cake and I'm loading it up on a face painting shop angled brush large and I'm only loading the bottom blue section. So to stop the horn going all kinds of lopsided, I used a vertical guideline and then I built up three sections around this. This is the very first time I've painted a horn with this method, so I'm kind of, you know, making it up as I go along, but basically each section has a side that goes up and a side that goes down, and you wanna make sure the edges are rounded. After a fair bit of playing around, I was finally happy with the shape, and then all that I needed to do was just to bring that bottom section down to make it look a bit more 3D and not so flat. And then just to clean it all up, I used a wet wipe. Next I took this Silly Farm rainbow cake called Moonlight and I loaded it up on a teardrop sponge and I just used this to fill in the eyelids. I didn't take the colour any higher than my eyebrows and I rounded out the edges. For the unicorn's ears I used Superstar White on a half sponge and the shape for this is very similar to a butterfly wing. Um, the only thing you need to be aware of is that you don't take them too wide so the outside edge of my ear doesn't really extend past the edge of my eyebrow. Next I took this really pretty pink colour by Superstar, it just says assortment shimmer on the back of it but basically it's like a pink and it's shot through with gold glitter, it's lovely. So I put this on the cheeks and then I added a very small amount to the centre of the ears. And then I decided it wasn't quite dark enough so on top of this, only on the ears, I used the um, Superstar Majestic Magenta. Now, I hadn't practiced this design, so I was not sure about what to do in the center part, so I kind of played around with a bit of bling. In the end, I decided understated was better, so I just go for a small gem. But first things first, I needed to do some flowers. So I'm using my Face Painting Shop Flora number no. eight petal brush, and it's just loaded up with some white and blue. So I used this to paint a fairly big sized flower on the outside corner of each eye, and then I swapped over to a smaller brush loaded with white and pink, and I put a few little pink flowers here and there. If you'd like to see how I do these double dip flowers in a bit more detail, I do have a video coming very soon, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. Once I'd finished with the main flowers, I also decided to add a few like trailing petals up the center just to outline the horn. Still with that same brush, I then went back to the large split cake and I picked up the two green colours. I've got the darker one on the tip and the paler one more towards the base. And with this, I just went in and pressed a few leaves. Next, we're moving on to outlines and details. So for this, I'm using my Low Cornell round number two brush. Um, firstly, I'm using Superstar Ink Blue just to give the edge of the horn an outline. And then I'm using the magenta colour to go around the top edge of the ears and also add a little bit of detail in the centre part. Next I switched over to white and the first thing I did was outline the eyelids. Now I love doing this, I think it just makes such a difference. It's one simple line but it really does finish off that area. Then after that I went in and added a few like swirly lines and teardrops and dots, you know me. Just fill up the spaces and make it look as pretty as you can. I also used this white to add in a little centre dot to each of the flowers, but if you wanted to you could use a little gem, it's up to you. I decided I wanted to add a white highlight to each section of the horn, but after I painted it, it was a little bit too harsh, so I took a damp, fluffy brush and just blended it out a little bit. Finally, with the white, I added in a few starbursts here and there, because you can't really have a unicorn without a starburst, can you? It just wouldn't be right. I used some Grimace Water Soluble Mastics to stick my three gems in the centre part of the forehead, right along the base of the horn. And then I used my new Leanne's Rainbow Filbert brush to fill in my lips with the magenta colour.
And then the last step is of course glitter. Now I was torn between blue glitter or silver glitter, but in the end I went for blue. Because my horn had dried, I had to just use my finger, make it a bit wet, and then press the water very carefully onto the horn, then go back in with the glitter so that it's stuck. And that's it, a beautiful flowery unicorn. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I really appreciate it, and I will see you again next time.